ready to face some other teams? Yeah, and have it matter. You know, that's what you work hard for, man. You know, I think, you know, understanding the regular season coming puts you in a different mindset that you can't emulate, you know, come preseason, training camp. You know, it's a different, different atmosphere where, where everything matters. So after all this change, where you're going to be able to play shooting guard all the time, now you don't have a backup three and you're playing some three. Another Look at anything. Changes, right? Whatever, whatever they need me to do. But um, you know, I think it should be fun, you know, be out there playing the four, you know, whatever, the way the league going now. But, you know, you never know. You know, we got to be prepared for anything. Does it, make a, does it make a difference who you guard more than anything? Is that probably the difference? No, I think at this point now, it don't matter because, you know, you look at teams around the league, you, you, you're so accustomed to playing small. You know, look at Paul George. He, he just starting power forward for Indiana Pacers, you know, and he, he was a 2-3. So, you know, you got to be ready for anything, especially when you're on the perimeter. Is this a more versatile roster than you had last year? Yeah, I think so, most definitely, most definitely. You know, the more I'm able to guard guards, you know, play them at the floor, be a stretch floor, um, you know, guys able to, to guard all different type of positions, you know, so it's definitely a dynamic group that we have this summer. Lamar, just, I mean, since September when you guys started getting together, I mean, I know progress doesn't stop just because the season starts, but what the progress you've seen, where's where's the biggest strides come since, you know, you guys got together back in September? I think defensively, yeah. you know, um, we came a long way, especially learning, you know, a lot of us that was here learning a whole new defense, you know, I haven't blued or played, you know, kept the ball on the sidelines since my rookie year. So, you know, it was something new for me, you know, and for all of us to get accustomed to doing, you know, I think that was the biggest stride for us. And, you know, I think everything else will come in, come in line offensively. Is that already second nature? That defensive, your defensive side is where you got to be. Is that, is that just a given or is that you still uh, got to think about it? It's pretty much a given, but, you know, teams are so creative now. We got to understand, you know, what, when they're trying to use the blue against us. You know, I think that's what we need to get a lot better at. And, you know, um, only in-game situation will help us with that, being able to watch film, watching our mistakes, you know, outside of ourselves. What, is, what have you seen from the exhibition season that should translate, that, that people can look at that and rely on, okay, this is what this will look to you? Oh, defense. Defense, for sure. You know, uh, a lot of us, you know, I, I think a lot, most of us didn't really pay attention to the offensive end. We really didn't put in our offense to four four games in the preseason, you know. So understanding that we're gonna have to rely on defense, offense gonna come around. We're gonna have them nights where you know we can't miss, um, but we also gonna have them nights where we are gonna miss and we gotta rely on something that's gonna be the defense. This was your seventh camp, fifth with Casey. Had you ever spent more time on defense than you did in this camp? Uh, I think when he first came, but you know it was so quick. I think that was a lockout year, you know. He had to install that so much, you know. Uh, but besides that, you know, I think this is the most that we done spent with him. Has this personality of this team changed with the new additions? I don't know. What, what kind of personality do you think we had last year? <laughs> well, I guess you guys always preached that you wanted your defense to be better and that yeah. you had leaned on the offense. Is, do you feel different about it? Do the, the different part, like not having a mirror in the room? Oh yeah, that that sucks. Not having a mirror. <laughs> and you know, he helped a, a whole lot, you know. But um no, I think it's still the same. You know, I think we, we got a great group of guys who's willing to learn, just like we had previous years. You know, everybody here is willing to listen, willing to win. You know, I think when you have that type of culture, you know, it stays the same no matter where you are. Do you and Kyle have more of a are you asked more from a leadership role this year than in I think it's more given, especially with me, you know, just understanding that, you know, been through two playoffs. Uh, you know, I feel like I did a little bit now. I, I feel more comfortable being a leader, speaking up, saying what's on my mind, correcting guys, or, you know, um, just trying to be a helping hand more than anything. How do you, how do you assess these to conference? Where, where do you guys see yourselves? How do you slot in there? You know, honestly, the Eastern Conference is wide open to me. You know, it's, it's nobody out there who's who can't be beat, you know. It's not like, you know, the 96 Bulls or anything that you out there looking at. You know, everybody out there could be beat. You know, everybody going to have their their rhythm. You know, at some point in the season, I think it all matters who's, who stays the most consistent, you know, um, and stay disciplined through the whole season. You've seen some of 
Paul George, I imagine, during the preseason here. How, how much closer to pre-injury form has he looked over the last month or so? Man, he looked great. Honestly, I'm happy for him, especially being one of the guys that was in that game where, you know, he suffered that, you know, tragic injury. You know, I'm, I'm happy to see a, a player like, like him, you know, back on the floor doing his thing. Now it's all about, you know, it's different once that season come around and you playing 36, 37 minutes on a nightly basis. You know, that's that's when the real test is going to come, come in hand and, you know, see how I go from there. Was that the scariest injury you've ever been on the floor or on the uh, bench yeah. for? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it was... It just took the energy out of everybody, you know. But like I said, to see how he was playing the preseason and talking, talking with him over the summer, you know, I was, I was happy for his progress.